Six Flags Magic Mountain is a coaster that I feel like gets a lot of unnecessary hate. Everyone hates it because it's a parking lot coaster, and they all say it's rough and has a big rattle. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of it. Starting off, this is a Bolliger and Mabillard floorless coaster that opened in 2003. Has a track length of 3,985 feet, and I must say this does feel like a long ride, so that's good. It has a height of 150 feet with a drop of 141 feet. At the bottom of that drop, you'll experience a top speed of 63 miles per hour, and this layout does go through 7 inversions, so it does have quite a bit of inversions. But I must say, a lot of these inversions are pretty uninspired, but we'll get into that layout later. Now Scream is located in the Scream Punk District section of Magic Mountain, and this area does have some pretty cool theming, but this ride does not have any. And it's Six Flags, so you shouldn't really expect any theming. But this ride's kind of just themed to itself, like it's called Scream Ride Out Loud, so uh, yeah. So let's get on to the layout now. So you leave the station take a turn and go up the lift hill and you get a pretty awesome view of the parking lot I mean just look at this view of the parking lot it's amazing then you go into a twisting drop and this is a pretty fun drop you get a little bit of whip when you're in the back row and it kind of just feels cool after that you go into a vertical loop which is pretty forceful just like a normal B&M vertical loop after that, you'll go up into a dive loop, and this is pretty cool because it kind of re-enters the park a bit, so you get a cool visual there. Then go up into a zero G roll, and this is probably my favorite part of the ride, because this zero G roll, it's smooth, it has some pretty good whip, and you get kind of a floaty feeling. Then you go into a cobra roll, just a typical cobra roll, nothing really special. Then you'll go up and twist into the mid course brake run, now this does not actually slow you down at all, it's just some straight track, so that's pretty nice. Then you'll dip down and go into a helix, and after that, there's actually this pretty quick transition that kind of gives you some snap, so that's pretty cool for a BNM. Then you'll go into a corkscrew, then you'll take a turn, go into a corkscrew that wraps around the other one, so you got some interlocking corkscrews, that's pretty cool looking. Then you go into a turn, then another turn, then you hit the brake run and the ride's over. So now let's talk about some pros and cons of Scream. Now the first pro is that it's a pretty long ride. The official duration is listed at 3 minutes, and after taking out the brake run and lift hill, there's still a pretty solid duration, with almost 4,000 feet of track. Another pro, and this is going to be controversial, but this ride is smooth. I hear a lot of other people say that this has a rattle, that they get headbanging on it, but I think this is one of the smoothest rides in the park, if I'm going to be honest. I do not understand how people can think this is rough, but also think that Viper is smooth. Cause Viper is one of the roughest roller coasters, period. So I don't honestly know. Now onto the cons. The first con is that this ride is kind of ugly. The color scheme is fine, but literally it's in a parking lot. And I don't think it really ruins the ride because Twisted Colossus is also a parking lot coaster, and people don't trash that. But, like, they didn't even try to make it look nice. Like, there's literally parking lines right under it. So, yeah, they could have added some landscaping, maybe just some grass or something, but no. They just kept it on a parking lot. Now, the next thing is that this ride is pretty forceless. Aside from the zero G roll and the loop, there's not really many forces. Like, you do get some positives, and you do get a little bit of whip in that one transition, but aside from that, the layout's just kind of uninspired, and it's just kind of filler elements, if I'm gonna be honest. And now, to my overall opinion. I would rate Scream a 7 out of 10. I think it's a fun, enjoyable, and smooth coaster, but it doesn't pull very many forces and doesn't do much for me or the park's lineup. I feel like this coaster would be better at a different Six Flags park because Magic Mountain already has some similar coasters like Riddler's Revenge and Batman, and there are definitely some other parks in the chain that could use a multi-looper like Scream. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and make sure to go down and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.